Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 22nd video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will work on page view count. And uh, in this, uh, we will work on our post detail page. We will count the post detail page view count that how many times the detail has been opened, how post specific post has been opened, and we will save the count in the database. And we are doing this because we want to show the popular post according to the view. So this is the scenario that uh, uh, that we are going to uh, create in this video. And uh, we will work on this. And we will also do some other things like we will show the post category that which category uh, this post to, belongs to which category we will show the category. And uh, <clears throat> um, uh, we will majorly work on these two things. Okay. So let's start this, let's start this work. So the first thing what we will do. So the first thing we will, uh, we will count the view. So whenever user click on the detail page, then we will save the view in the database. So we need to create a column. We need to create a column in post table view column. And uh, in that we will save the count. So there are two methods to create the column. One is to, you, you can simply create from the uh, PHP MyAdmin or any database that you're using. You can directly create from that column. And one is the standard method provided by the, uh, provided by uh, Laravel. So what we will do here, we will, we will use the standard method, which is provided by the Laravel. You can, if you see the, uh, documentation if you refer the documentation then they have provided beautifully explained that how we can add the column with the help of migration command so let's create this php artisan make php artisan we will refer the command so we will go to the migration and we will go to migration and we will simply so here you can see we have a migration command so what it what it is doing it is adding votes it, it is adding votes column to the users table if you if you have another uh, table name if you are not using the users table name or any table name you can define the table name here and here so so what it will do it will add the votes column to the users table so we will follow the same uh, syntax so we will use PHP artisan make migration add add votes add votes to add votes to add votes to post stable okay so we will run this command so here you can see command has been created and it will create the migration file so here you can see add votes we don't want actually we don't want to add the votes uh, we, we just want to add the we just want to add the views okay no problem we will use the votes column okay so we, we, we will use the votes column so it's no problem so now we will create the column table integer and here we will define the column name so this is the migration name and this here we will define the column name so we can define the column name views and in this in this down function we will define this view so that when we uh, roll back this then it will uh, delete from the it will all it will also delete from the column so this will this up method will add the uh, this column in the database and this down method will delete the column from the database uh, from the table okay so now let's migrate this so php artisan migrate okay so migration has successfully working and now let's see the table so here you can see we have a views table a uh, views column okay and in uh, we have created this views column in the post table okay so now what we will do so whenever this detail page has been opened, so what it means, it means whenever this detail method will call, then here we will update the 
counter here we will update the counter and it is very easy to if you are updating if you are increasing any number then laravel provides us very easy method to do this so here you can simply search increment or decrement so we can increase the number with the help of this increment method so you just need to define the column name and uh, you need to define the uh, uh, in method you need to define the column name if you want to change the frequency like default is 1 if you uh, want to change the frequency like 5 plus 5 plus 5 then you can define the second parameter as a frequency okay and similarly you can use the decrement <coughs> so in this example we will use the increment method so let's uh, so here we will do update update post count okay and in this uh, with the help of this we are finding the specific post and here we will define increment and here we will add the views okay so now let's refresh this so now let's go to the database uh, table and uh, let's so you can see we have a one and if i will refresh this again then it will again it will plus one and it has uh, it is showing now two so this is now we have uh, we, we have seen this post two times okay so now we need to show this show this counting here so what we will do uh, i will add the counting at the left of the title okay let's do this so i will use span i will use span and here i will use float right okay and uh, here i will add total views equal to and because we have a data in detail uh, in detail variable so we will use views okay so let's refresh this so here you can see we have a total views and whenever you refresh this then it will change the number okay yeah so it is it is working now so with the help of this functionality we can find the popular posts okay so let's go to the another post so now let's go to this and total view is equal to 1 let's 2 let's 3 okay now we have a two post and uh, the first one view the first one has eight views and the second one has second one has four views okay now let's find let's uh, uh, order this popular post according to the views so we will open the so we need we are showing this uh, showing this data uh, from our uh, app service uh, provider so we will open the app service provider and in this recent order by id uh, this is the recent post and we will all we will use popular post so this will popular posts and this will order by views okay so now let's open the sidebar so we have a front layout sorry this is front layout and in the front layout okay, we need to we have created a sidebar for this let's check this we have this layout is for admin and uh, for uh, this we have uh, created a sidebar i think let's let's find this home detail let's open this detail okay we haven't created any sidebar for this we haven't created any sidebar uh, actually any common thing for this but we will create this so let's uh, let's populate this data in this so here we will change popular posts okay now refresh this so you can see here we have a post title 2 and post title 3 
uh, if you want to show the views with the this post you can show that uh, let's show the views uh, we will add class badge badge info and here we can show the view so views so you can see here views and one more class i will add float right okay <clears throat> so you can so you can see how easy is this to uh, count the page views so i hope you uh, understand all the things all these uh, that how we can find the popular post according to the view now let's uh, go to for our second task we need to get the uh, category for this because we have defined the post according to the category you can see the category id when we add the post from our admin so let's go to the admin i will show you that we are defining the we are actually at defining the category when we we create the post so when we add new post then we are here defining the category now we need to get the category here so where we can get the category i will get the category after the detailed data so in the layout in the layout after the detailed data in uh, let's add in the class card footer okay. and in this we will add link and we need to define the before fetching here we need to define the relationship between post and category similarly we have defined the relationship between uh, post and comments comments belongs to post so our now in the category and post relation our category belongs to post uh, sorry our post belongs to category <coughs> so here we have opened the post model so you can open this post model in the app model folder now we will define the relationship here so function category and here we will return dollar this belongs to app models models and category and here we will define the define our foreign key name so this is cat id okay now we are able to fetch the category so here we will fetch dollar detail uh, we will call the we will call the function category and then category title okay because we have defined the title in the categories so this is title now let's refresh this so here you can see we are fetching the category so we will create this uh, we will create this uh, page whenever user click on this category then uh, the only post will show that belongs to this cat category too so here we will add in in keyword so that it, it will show that all this post is in category whatever in in this category okay so in in our next videos we will uh, we will create the page where we can show the post according to this category and we will also create the page where we will show all the uh, categories okay and uh, uh, in this video i just want to show you that how we can uh, uh, how we can show the popular post according to the views and we have learned that how we can add column in the existing table uh, with the uh, laravel standard method and we have also uh, we have also defined the belongs to relationship similarly i have defined in my previous video so thanks for watching this video if you have any query any question or any thoughts that uh, if you think that i can improve then please uh, add in the comment section and please like this video, share this video, subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.